Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here today for the launch of a big mental health survey from Causeway Technologies, but I've caught up with Steve Kerslake. Steve, we've been meaning to talk for a long time, construction yes. sport, you're the founder, and you know, we've got a football here because we're talking uh, yep. today about mental health and the connection uh, between construction and football in particular, but sport in general. Yeah, 100%. What is your takeaways from what Trevor Stephen and the panels and everybody else that have said here today? And how does that resonate with what you're doing? It's perfect, really, because we've said it, I personally have said it for years. If you want to get the workforce engaged with especially mental health and construction, bring a football. We've said it for a long, long time. The kick about a social, create a social environment where people can have a bit of downtime and it's, it's a winner. And it's, I'm, I'm really pleased to see Causeway actually back in that as well, because it just shows it's a it's it's all over the world isn't it football so you can speak to anyone you put it in their hands people open up easy and i think the other thing for me is what we're saying about blokes emotions we don't you know show our emotions very much and yet trevor's like well the one thing we do do in sport is we're shouting we're screaming we're really emotional yeah. about sport yeah. and we're really emotional about the outcome of a team-based thing yeah. and construction is the same thing it's a, we need a team yeah. to work together don't we but you know there's a lots of desperate people and, and so we're talking about analogies here with you know getting the ball in the net and stuff and winning the match but you know the yeah. passes that you have to make in football equally you have to pass on responsibilities to different people in construction in the same sort of way don't you yeah 100 percent. and the, the, what sport teaches all of us i think even if you're not playing it just participating or watching just supporting it or being part of any kind of sporting environment it teaches you so much about how to look after each other as a team and that you take the roughs with the smooths. A kind of football match, it'll happen over 90 minutes or over a season. You yeah, get yeah, your highs yeah. and lows of a whole season. And in the construction world, especially Monday to Friday, with the weather, especially in the construction game, there's highs and lows. And when times are tough, that is when, and in the, the groundworks game that I'm used to, is when the times are tough this time of year, when mm. you're really, really not up for it, you rely on those teammates around you to pull you out of the dirt, quite literally. Yeah. And then literally say, look, we're in this together. I know our guys have said before, they said it's all about going to war with each other. Or you're going to war together. And it's a very different world. But when you can actually show each other, look, we're in this together. And that's exactly what a sport does in general, especially football. The teamwork and kind of camaraderie that brings is that it's not ideal, it's not the perfect place, but if we can achieve this, and you might win a big trophy in the football world, or at the same time, I'm fortunate enough to work on a, big, a lot of big construction projects, and you would have seen a lot. When you can step back and say, well, I was part of that yeah, project, it's I the same as as part of that team, what, what built that. Yeah. Uh, what one thing I always get as well is, we don't, and we're trying to do it now, encouraging people to get photos of the teams that they work in, because when you look back, we just unfortunately lost someone to suicide two days ago from a previous project that I wow. worked on. Yeah. And I think, and I look back at Carl, I was with him day in, day out all those years ago. We never got a team photo of a construction yeah. team. So having that, good things to look back on and show your children later on, daddy was part of that, mummy was part of this. Yeah. You, it, it plays so much in building the, the, the industry for f future kind of generations really as well. So you've got a busy day job, Steve. I know you've yes. got a busy day job. Yeah. And then you decide, Steve, to launch construction and sport yeah. as an as a actual charity yourself. Yeah. And why? And, and, and what's it all about? And, and, and what are you trying to achieve? Yes, yeah, so I was interested in the sporting world. I was born into it, basically. I was, there was no computers really that much in my hand as a kid. It was outside kicking a ball. Every time Wimbledon was on, I was trying to play tennis. <laughs> yeah. There'd be cricket or the Ashes on play cricket. Whatever was on TV, I'd try and replicate outside with my friends. And that was, Fantastic. yeah, the master of none, should we say. <laughs> but, the, um, but loved it. And that played such a huge part of my life that I didn't realise at the time. But when kind of the sporting world kind of come to a halt really when senior life got to me and I'd ease off things, didn't commit to as much rugby as I went into later on because of work and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I noticed when that kind of fell away from me that probably my mental health issues were starting to show more and more. And I yep. then realised working the cross, on Crossrail for five years that knocking rugby on the head completely was not the answer. But working, I had to work possession work Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, so I had, I had to have a, find a happy medium and I couldn't do that. Um, but then I thought, well, I'm going to have to take this in my own hands and create something where I can have my own outlet. So this yep. is completely selfish, really. 100%, <laughs> it works for me. And it just so happened that, oh, all my mates want to play as well. And then yep. we, just, we just had a game on Sunday that I put together. We had 50 footballers for one game. Yep. Um, and it was mad. And, um, and there's, there's such a need. And there's a lot of lads out there and ladies, all these different sports that they want to play. And I created this when I started doing it for, for, for a few big walks that we done. Yep, yep. And when those guys come into the environment, I realised, hang on a sec, there's more issues here. It isn't just me. I thought this was all me. And mm. there's a few close stories to home that come about. And I realised then, Christ, something needs to be done. This isn't right. Because when you're in these, these words, as we heard today, 
when you are struggling with your mental health, you're the only person in the world struggling and everything yep. else around you is against you. Yep. Uh, yep. But when you actually realize and talk out, you realize I am not on my own here. And the sporting environment gives you exactly that. You realize, and what I had stumbled across it. I didn't realize. I wouldn't have done it from my own, my own head, but then when I realized how many people it's actually helping, those people were strongly reminding me that we need to do something else because it helped them too much. So I was put in a position of, you've got to do something else now. You've got to do something else. And then I, I disagreed with a lot of what's going on in the construction world and I'm not one to stay quiet and do it if I don't like something. <laughs> I don't believe it or not, would you? <laughs> I want to be there to phone call, but yeah. you can hardly get I've, there. I've been brought and raised by, yeah, a parent's, parents who say, if you don't like something, I don't agree with it, voice it, let them know, because yeah, yeah. you don't get nowhere sitting back and being quiet. And I think that's where the construction world has realised now that we're losing so many people. And mm. is anyone voicing a real kind of disagreement with it? I don't think so. I have done over the last few months and years really. And every time I do it, it takes us to another level. People yeah. embrace us and go, they can see the passion. I'm so, we're not doing this for financial or, or business gain. This is about pure passion. And I'm quite sick and tired of the phone calls I keep getting what are negative. And it's just like, come on, we need to, you know, this, this yeah, industry is exactly, fan, yeah. fantastic industry. And yeah, it's yeah. got so much for, everyone of any part of the world race religion sex whatever you are this place this industry's got something for you and i really want to help change this negative goo if you google construction it just looks negative and i want yeah. this what can we do to, we're not going to inspire another generation by talking about suicides every day but right. if we can say that if you come into a sporting world i wanted to because i saw the way the military done it it was just around 9 11 time i signed up for the royal marines based on a um, arctic warfare um, scale kind of regime that they hold yep. and I wanted to ski for a living I thought this sounds brilliant I can <laughs> go ski for a living and get paid so I signed up to Royal Marines went for the careers office just before that kind of happened I was given a heads up that the the, the, the Arctic warfare training had been scrapped because right. of post 9-11 incidents um, and it was very much you're going to sand not snow and I was like right. I don't want that and I hands up completely bottled it and said I don't want to go to the sand I'm a, yep. I'm a, I'm a cold weather man yep. um, and I did I then went so I went out to Austria and worked out there behind a bar in the end. And, uh, but I come back with this whole ethos of if that advert, to me, the 12, 13, 14, all them years of watching those adverts for the military yeah, took yeah, me yeah. to that world because of sport, yeah. we can use construction to do this as well. I went to watch Little Mermaid six weeks ago with my five-year-old and there was an advert about joining the military there. So, yeah, yeah. A, a, U, a U rated film and it's showing the kids at that early age, this yeah. industry, there was one I always remember, and it was, it had come up on a, so I heard the other day, but the military said 99.9% .9 people need not apply. So pretty much saying 99.9% don't, don't apply oh, you, ain't, you aren't yeah. tough enough. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was the most successful campaign they've ever had. Because <laughs> oh, everyone bit, everyone bit it. Like, what? Yes, I am. I'll, I'll, exactly. I'll, I'll show you. And that's yeah. exactly what it was. That's the kind of people that are needed. And you know, yeah. that teamwork is what we need in construction as well. All of this stuff is, is really important. But the other thing that I get across and I, I, when I see things is, does that person look like me? Yeah. Right? We're similar sort of middle-aged blokes. I can relate to. Yeah. But we need other people that are from different backgrounds yeah. that to, to, to relate to, that can talk yeah. to us, so that we can feel comfortable with them. Yeah. You know? So if we're a young person coming in to the industry, we need mentors, we yeah. train people for that as well. So construction sport as well as, as a whole charity, what do you do? What happens? Where do yeah. people find you? And, and and how are you? How are you managing to grow so fast? Yeah, so thankfully, I'm not even just joking. Today's is our first day of launching our website, actually. So a, 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 a membership basis, what's been planned for seven years, and I've scrapped so many ideas. I've tried <laughs> so much. We've gone back to the basics. Keep it simple, stupid has been said to me very, very exactly. many times. Yeah, yeah. And we've done that. We want to build a culture similar to what the military do in how they use sport to inspire the next generation of people, but mainly look after the people that are in the environment now. So we want to have ambassadors for every sport in the country, of, of every sport you can think of. I know I could probably write 20 different sports and someone in the construction I know does that, whether at a high level or a low level, I really don't mind. But we want people to champion that and literally say that we want to fly the flag for this. We're going up to whatever country or sort of county and we're going to put a game together and, and fly the flag for construction sport. We, in a way, it's not even has to be with us. It's called a ripple effect, which gets people involved with sport. And we really want people to realise that, oh, you can go to the construction world and be part of this sporting environment. We hired Saracens Rugby Club last year. We hired, um, we, played, we played against Essex Fire Brigade there. We hired Leicester Tiger Stadium. We had North Constru Construction North versus Construction South in the, in the rugby <laughs> world. We just had football this weekend. But at the same time, we've got the membership side of things, what we call a hundred club, it's a hundred pound a company, that's, we, we, no matter what size you are. We couldn't yep. tier things, it's too difficult. 
Um, but then we also do, when we do fundraising events, just last Tuesday, we were informed of a story of um, a very, someone very close to home to us, a young three-year-old who's got brain tumour and going through a battle. So we called upon the Construction Sport uh, Network. I put a, a call to arms out and we had 100 construction workers turn up on a Tuesday. And these were guys from the ground to the direct boardroom, so at L level. And we had 100 people come together and we raised 16,000 pounds. Wow. And 100% of that has just been donated to the families. Fantastic. So we, were like, yeah. we want to show that there's a network. We don't need to be funded by this money we raise there and then. Yeah. We can raise that, that's fantastic. But our event, we want to show that money we've done. And we're, dang it, we just, we walked HS2 at the start of the year. Yeah. And we've just handed over, with thanks to that one and a couple of other events that went on, we handed 16,000, uh, 20,000 pounds over to a family of someone close to us who passed away. Um, Martin was a mechanical electrical engineer and he passed away a leukemia last December. Right. And uh, he had a uh, wife and two children, a lot yeah. of overhead still, they don't yeah, disappear. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we want to show to that family that he might want to be here, but the, the impact that he had on our lives, we want to kind of keep his memory going really. So yeah. that kind of stuff. We want to show just how good the industry can be for the right reasons. Yeah. And that's why, you know, construction is so great. We are a community, we can come together. We've yeah. seen how that works, but yeah. it's phenomenal to see the impact of that already. Yeah. Um, what's, the, what's the website URL? Come on, it's we... www.constructionsport.com. Constructionsport.com, folks. Yeah. That's where we need to go. I'm ending all my interviews at the moment, Steve, with saying, Steve, are you all right? I'm, yeah, super. I'm going good, actually. Time no, to but, but Steve, are you oh, yeah, right? yeah, I'm very good. I'm, I'm good. I'm really forced. Now, massive thank you. I said to you behind the camera, but to me in the media now, trying to do it in media stuff, I was inspired by what you've done at an early stage a few years back. But I put to everybody, like, a massive thank you. You showed what, what can great. be done for the next Mate, generation. I, look, I, yeah. By inspiring you, yeah. I, I've helped mine a tiny little way to make all the great work you're doing uh, be escalated. Keep yeah. on doing the work you're doing. I follow you. and. Folks, you can follow Steve on LinkedIn yeah. and obviously go to the website. He's on YouTube as well, etc. Yes, but infected, great to finally meet you and Very congratulations. Up, keep doing construction sport yeah. and keep there, folks. Constructionsport.com. See you soon. Cheers. Lovely. Cheers, Bear. I really appreciate it. Thanks, pal.